peeps and welcome it's Kathleen from Cause Creations welcome to the no bra zone number two guys I am happy you're here it is a cool rainy day here in the mountains of Asheville and fall is upon us I took the little man out for uh, some ball playing before the rain came and the leaves were starting to fall and a little bit of color change up to the top of the mountains. It'll be at its peak in about three weeks and I can't wait because it is my first fall here in the mountains of North Carolina and I am a fall loving kind of girl. I am a sweater girl. I am a hiking through the woods on a nice cool fall afternoon. So we're working with some fall colors and I'm excited. We have today, we have an 18 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. All our paints but one are mixed with the same pouring medium. We're using Liquitex gloss pouring medium and no Floetrol, just Liquitex. We're going to see how that affects my cell formation if we get any cells at all. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with cells. Sometimes they pop up where I don't want them and I certainly would like to learn how to control that a little bit better. So no Floetrol today, just paint and Liquitex pouring medium and all of these paints except for one surprise ingredient that we're still kind of testing out and trying to figure out. Our base coat today is going to be golden fluids in the carbon black mixed with the Liquitex pouring medium. We are about, in these cups, about a half a tablespoon of paint with the exception of one and um, two and a half ounces of pouring medium. You do not need much paint when you're using your golden fluids. This right here is not golden fluids, so we are one part paint to one part pouring medium. That is Arteza Pearl Deep Brown, and that is the only paint that took some water because it's a thicker paint. <laughs> And when you got thicker paints, you need to add some water to them when you're doing a swipe because I like my paints on the thinner side when I'm doing a swipe. Today they're a little bit thicker than normal and there is a reason for that. I did a beautiful swipe the other day and my paints were ultra thin because I was playing with the consistency. And when I came back the next morning, the paint had shifted. It still looked kind of cool, but it's not what I planned. And we all want to do our best to kind of control what happens a little bit with these paints, even though it's fluid paint. You can have a little bit of control over those paints. You can show those paints who are, who the boss is. <laughs> And if all the stars are aligned, that will happen. <laughs> but we also learn a lot from our mistakes. So once again, that is the Arteza Deep Brown, one part paint to one part pouring medium and water. Right here, we have golden fluids in the prettiest copper in the world, in the iridescent copper. Right here, we have golden fluids in the prettiest burnt sienna around, in the burnt sienna. Right here in this yummy cup is a fun color that I had to learn to love, but I sure do love it now, especially when I um, use it on a black base coat. That is golden fluids in the Indian yellow hue. This right here is a combination of a bunch of different golds. I tend to, uh, to keep my leftover paints in a little covered plastic container and every once in a while I marry them together and this is probably PBO or Pebio Studio Acrylics in the Precious Gold. A little bit of the Golden Fluids in the Iridescent Gold Fine. That's a guess, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. This right here, yummy, yummy color. Did I get that right? No, I got a little backwards. This right here is the Golden Fluids, the Q word in the Nickel Azo Gold. And this right here is the Burnt Sienna. I got them backwards, guys. Sorry about that. 
Now the magic cup. Well, we don't know if it's magic yet, <laughs> but this is golden fluids in the carbon black. It is the same as our base coat, but it is mixed one part paint to four parts of the Amsterdam pouring medium. Those of you who have followed me um, probably saw me experiment and test this out and it was explosive. I am convinced that Amsterdam is trying very hard to appeal to the pouring community and there's something special in this pouring medium. So this black paint right here with the skinnier stick in it that is the only paint that is mixed with the Amsterdam pouring medium because when I used it the first time, guys, I mixed all my paints and it was explosive. The cells were out of control, bubbly, and I was not a fan. So I figured I'd uh, step it down a little bit and try it with just one paint the swiping color which is going to be black so guys fluid art experience come and paint with me i don't know what i'm more excited about the actual convention hanging out with my other paint and peeps or meet, meeting each and every one of you but you know it's going to be a blast guys texas plano texas it is on november 12th and november 13th friday night november 12th we're having a party with some texas barbecue some cocktails if you so please and a lot of giveaways guys so come on down i am um have been aware made aware of some of the people who will be joining me there and i am beyond excited guys so come paint Come paint with us. We're gonna have a lot of fun, guys. Let's put some tunes on. Let's get busy.
We watch the sun go down over the same old town Like so many times before we Look at the same old stars, battle the same old wars Like so many times before And I know that we're not perfect Watch the sun go down over the same old town. 